Hey guys, welcome back to another video and in today's video, I will be sharing some more tips and tricks kind of on how to get into the higher ranges of GC and this is for you like GC2s, GC1s, even C3s, mainly is the audience I'm aiming for here, but everyone from every rank can pick up something from here, I hope. And uh, I'll be sharing one of my 2v2 replays I played off stream off recording just to show you what's kind of going in through my mind. And yeah, I'll see you guys in that replay. Alrighty, into the replay here. And if you look right away that there are a lot of goals, a lot of goals were scored. And that means that there were just a lot of mistakes. And I, I'll give you I, I'll give you guys a little, little heads up. I did win, but not because we played better or any sort of way it's just we made less mistakes and let's let's get into it shall we before i yap on a little longer regular kickoff for me this is the part of like gameplay that like is just unfortunate and you can't really do much about it is the only reason this went in is because he clipped my car and that led him to not be able to get the proper 50 on uh the ball here so he loses it, it goes up, it goes down. Cloudy Bear has enough boost to score it, and that's pretty much that. But from here on out, I don't think there were really any many kickoff goals. Don't wanna say there were zero, but right here, I'm doing a very greedy thing and going for this mid boost here because my teammate could be beat and uh, the opponent could follow up, but luckily that doesn't happen. And the reason I cut this way, like across the field, is because I'm trying to get involved in the play as fast as I can. But I'm trying to not waste boost and like give up position and all that. Right here, I get it right over the guy. Use my boost to follow up through. The reason I'm still on this side is because I'm waiting for Mewing Giraffe here to hit it uh, left side. Because if you look at his positioning on his car, He's on the right side of the ball, which means he's probably going to take it to the left side of the field, which is where I'm sitting and where I'm waiting. He does the smart thing and takes it up center, which is why I turn in instantly. And my teammate's there. It gets blocked. I must get demoed. Very bad. I'm just trying to put pressure. I do this little weird recovery thing. Works in my favor. I try to go high because I realize he's going to get it. Or Mewing Traff is going to get it. And the reason why I'm not pressured here, like I'll, I have zero boost right here, don't look at that 100. But right here, I'm not worried because of the touch he gets, right? That's the reason I take my car or my ball cam off and go into car cam. Because most likely he used a lot of boost to get up there because that's a pretty high ball. And second, not everyone is zen, so that ball's not going top 90, like 500 miles per hour, so... I'm setting up ready for the ball to just like kind of drop to me, which it does here. I get like just the perfect little little tap into the opponent and he doesn't get a strong touch and it just goes over him. Just a lucky goal on my end, if you were to call it that. Right here, and I want to emphasize this, always cheat. But when it does go over your head, it's just unfortunate. That's a very savable ball. And I want to go over real quick why this happens. So if we're looking at my teammate's perspective, Bob here. So far, regular normal kickoff. What he does here is he single jumps into it, right? Perfectly fine kickoff. But if we look at Giraffe's perspective, right? This is where it is so important, important to look at your opponent's kickoff. And you can't even see all of it. Like, you can't even see his name right now. But if you look at Giraffe's <laughs> perspective here, he just hits the ball solid in the middle. Right? This is a pretty safe kickoff. And since Bob's car uh, goes up, right? <laughs> this is his perspective, right? The ball's going up. This leaves me in a horrible position. Because not only do I have to go back on defense, I have to be wary of the shot. I'm last man back, so if I gets past me it's probably a goal bob's probably gonna take a little too long to rotate to assist me that's a savable ball if i just wait one more second uh, on my flip here as you can see i flipped a little too early and that led to like i jumped off the wall a little too early if i drove like a split second longer 
same flip and everything. That's a save. Simple as that. Now here, if we focus on my perspective of the kickoff, I'm trying to make sure that this ball stays low, right? And stays close. So it does that perfectly. Bob gets a little dribble play, and it's a tied game. Now we get into some normal gameplay again. If you look at the, the timeline down below. I grab the boost here, stay wary of the demo, because I don't know if my teammate or not got demoed. I try to play the low, try to get the demo. <laughs> I bumped Bob by accident because I didn't expect him to go zooming past me. I'm trying to conserve as much boost, but also play as fast as possible. Which is the use of wave dashes, speed flips, all that. And right here, I'm trying to... Right here, I am watching the bang, which is a possible thing to do. It's not 0% chance. And I'm also trying to conserve boost, play back post, just in case this ball, you know, pinches mid. And I can cut off the uh, pass. So right now I'm second man. I'm gonna go up here. This is honestly a bad decision here by me. Because it wastes kind of my positioning. And my teammate also went up. Which I probably wasn't expecting. Now this ball is over me. I try to get the read. I get the read. So I play quick. And the guy just beats me right here. I should have probably went up backboard again. Because the likely likelihood of me beating this guy to the ball is zero. Like, absolutely no chance for me to beat that guy. And if you guys heard that in the background, that's my teammate getting demoed, which I <laughs> shortly realized. And we get scored on because of it. Yet again, not my teammate's fault. He got demoed. He can't do anything about that except for dodge it, of course. But that's hoping that people know how to dodge a demo. Which, you know, some people do, some people don't. But if I just went back wall there again, it's a completely different story. And we might have even gotten a goal. And again, I try to keep the ball low. It'll half flip. I hold on to my power slide, therefore at split second, to keep my momentum going. Right here, I'm trying to cut through the mid, trying to get a demo, look for a demo. I cut back mid here, and then I go to the right side of the field. I'm going to this side of the field just in case there's a 50 that I can follow up on. My teammate gets the demo. Ball's going too slow, but lucky 50 yet again if you want to call it that right i see that he's jumped he still has his flip he uses his flip and i just try to stay in front of the ball be the big man and uh you know get the 50 and it goes in regular kickoff here goes to the side i try to cut back mid and i thought he was shooting close he shoots far and that's just that's just him shooting in the right spot, getting away from the defender. Right here, ball goes up. So, yet again, Bob's doing the wrong kickoff. I wait back just in case my teammate goes. I try to hit it up. Instead, I hit it right at the opponent. Try to look for a bump. Don't get the bump. I'm a goal. I'm ready for the shot. And this is why I'm playing the side, so I can follow up on this 50. I tried to hit it at Bob, but I didn't. I'm trying to stick on this ball. I get challenged. I have zero boost. It's past my teammate. Should have got the boost. I'm checking every time where they're touching the ball. And if I waited, possibly it could have been a save. This is a tricky situation for me to be in since I'm last man here. I don't really want to commit, but I'm trying to block the shot on net, the direct shot on net. Which you could say Bob could block that and I could uh, play far. But from my perspective where Bob was, he was nowhere near the defensive area to block the close shot. So I tried to cover the close, and I left the, the far open, and luckily placed it there. Yet again, not actual luck, it's enough skill to place it in there. Me trying to keep the ball down low, Bob following that up. Now I'm trying to get this into open space to where my teammate could follow it up. But it turns out I am teammate, and I will follow it up. <laughs> Try to grab this boost and get in a position where I can assist Bob here. He goes for the Doomsie, takes it himself. Very selfish play, but it worked in our favor, so I'm not complaining. Right here, yet again, I cheat close. This time it's a little more, <laughs> more follow-upable for me. 
right here I go through the center try to keep my speed up ready for whatever I fake I try to get him to flick it at me this is where I take my control touch and I wait for Bob I hit it low I tried to shoot it right on that just to you know scare them and just in case the demo was there and right here my patience paid off because right here I'm like okay Bob just cut he's gonna be out of the play I have to force Mr. Giraffe here to uh, hit it across the field where my car is already going forward the only way I get beat here is if Cloud hits this ball but Giraffe is gonna hit the ball before Cloud because I just know and boom placement because now Cloudy's out of the out of the goal and it's wide open net all I have to do is aim the ball don't have to worry about speed because Cloudy's in such a weird position and this is yet again a goal because I keep the ball on the ground and my teammates started to follow it up he didn't clip my car this time so we scored the goal <laughs> but yet again regular kickoff as you can see i kind of varied it a little bit i tried to pop this ball up this time and the reason why it worked is because i'm the one that's higher up at the end of the day or at, not at the end of the day <laughs> but at the end of the kickoff i'm the one that is higher up on the ball so i hit it into him He's going to hit it into me, and then I'm going to be the last one to touch it, so it's going to go up. And this gives Bob the uh, opportunity to follow it up, get a goal. I go wide here because I think Bob's just going to shoot this right away because, you know, Giraffe probably can't get to the far right side. But Bob takes a dribble. It gets me out of position, but luckily I'm there. I play back wall, ready for the shot. It gets below me. Good job, Bob was there. I grab the boost so the opponent doesn't get the boost. Right, it's not that I had a lot of boost and I could leave this for my teammate. Is I grab the boost so my opponents can't. I play close here. I try to like shorten the gap so I can challenge more like safely. I let him dribble it to me, essentially. And now I have the ball and I can take it up the wall, stall time, hit over one guy, go for the 50 on the other. Right, that's not a scoreable shot. It's a scoreable shot in general. But from this position, this is not a scoreable shot. I have 22 boost, and I still need boost to recover. So I'm going to try and save as much boost. So I end up with 1, which turns into 0. And I try to block the shot. And I'm just not in time. And the reason for that is because I only had 1 boost. If I had boost, like that 10 boost here to flip to this pad, that's uh, to my, I think that's 2 o'clock, my directly corner of my car that pad that way instead of this wide turn and i follow the the curving path in i can be there for the ball and have boost so that's just a poor judgment play by me right here i'm just hoping bob doesn't hit this up and it goes up but it goes on their side i'm trying to play close grab their boost so i know that cloudy doesn't have a lot of boost Giraffe also probably doesn't have a lot of boost. I try to collect this, take this off the wall, grab the boost too. Hit this mid. And then since my teammate didn't want to follow it, I follow it up. Bob wants to go, but I'm trying to cut in so I can pass it to him. Which he doesn't recognize in time and he goes goes and grabs the boost. I try to play back post here. I cut in the middle just, just in case, follow up my teammate. And now I'm ready for the play. I try to hit off the ceiling and follow it up. There's zero seconds anyway, so ball just hits the ground. This is like the mo second most important kick off the game. The reason why this isn't the most important is because the first kickoff is the most important. We try to I try to hit it to Bob, where he can take time and control. I was worried that was just gonna go in. Big jump. Use a little bit of boost to recover. Try and get a position. Bob goes for boost, so I'm out of position. I try to back my teammate up, get in a better spot, and he does cloudy bear, and we win. So, main issues that I had in this game, just to go over them really quick, was this goal right here. Right? If I were to, let's say I hypothetically have 10 boost here, 
I can speed flip to this boost, grab this boost, use some boost to either cut here. If the ball drops mid, I can cut across here and chow this way. Or if the ball is a little further up, I can grab, or was I? I can grab this boost, this boost, and cut in this way, and it blocks off not only this portion of the goal, but it allows only pretty much shots from this area, like this portion of the goal to go in. But with your momentum carrying, you can just double jump most of the time and use a little bit of boost, and you should be there for the for the save most of the time, right? Like right here, if I cut in here maybe just a little bit grab this pad so i have to go back wide again and that kills some momentum and i have to use that boost to gain that momentum but i don't have enough to keep my momentum up high enough and be there that was the main issue there and yet again early on with the kickoffs where the ball just kept going up if we look at bob's perspective again a lot of these goals are just because the kickoff didn't work, except for this one. This one was just, as we'll see from his perspective, he just clips my car and it slows his car down. And it's a goal, right? This perspective, he just got out 50 he got out big bodied. He doesn't even look at the play, he doesn't look to try and help assist me. That's just, I didn't realize that. I'm ready for the ball. I miss it just because yet again I jumped off the wall too soon and now we're down right now look how look how and twos is another thing of trying to make your teammates life a whole lot easier if you keep that in mind while you're playing and you try to if you're not good at it try to cut your teammate less try to ball chase less because not only does that make your teammate harder to play with for you it makes your <laughs> makes you harder to play with with your teammate so look how much simpler this kickoff is that i kept on the ground my teammate just has to be there luckily he has the freest net of his life apparently but if we go to this kickoff here again or where is it this kickoff here again i'm gonna try and keep the ball on the ground all those go on the ground he flips a little too forward and he gets bumped because of it, he could have got demoed. And I just let it in. That's on my my end. That is my fault. I thought the opponent was playing something else. Kind of honestly mediocre challenge right here. There's a whole lot better things he can do. Not only does he fully commit here and I have very little boost. So it's also good to... Be aware of like how much boost usage your teammate used in the last play and over time right if you're at a high enough level your teammate should be collecting pads and start as early as you can because believe me it will make it a lot easier later down the right or later down the line so this challenge doesn't really do much for our team in general and now he's fully committed i have very little boost i'm trying to like cut for him because he won't be able to help me and we get scored on again right so it's a team effort at the end of the day if we look at it yet again from my perspective i'm trying to look i'm trying to block off the close because you know yet again i think that he can't defend the close and it goes far post and i know for a fact that he can't defend the far post from his position right not him as a player but him as his positioning I don't think he could have saved that. Simple as that. Like, it's, it's just, he wasn't in the right position. And that's where it also comes down to. Because if I look at this on a more hand, hand, like hands-on view, I guess. Aerial view, that's the word. Like, if we look at this, just this play, right? let's say it's from here like the play next play starts here because mr giraffe is going to get on the ball i'm going to go for their boost and now it's up to the two uh unknowns my teammate and the opposing teammate to do something about this play right this guy's going to take a while to get back this guy's in net he has to defend two people right and he takes it high 
Cloudy's now in the in the play because he's blocking off the pass mid. Giraffe misses the challenge. Bob has more time on the ball. Now Cloudy cuts in and he is second man. I'm still trying to play a safe enough distance to where Cloudy can't directly challenge me and where he can't directly challenge Bob. And it's still an easy enough shot where I could place it anywhere and hopefully not miss. If you've been on my streams before, you know I miss these. But Bob takes a very nice, very nice play of just faking the doomsy and going below and scoring. All right. I was just a threat in that situation. Like, he didn't use me, but just my positioning alone makes, uh, like, makes cloudy here have to think about me right not only is he thinking well my teammates out of the play like just from this perspective well my teammates out of the play this guy has the ball on the wall and he is he has boost and he's kind of boosting at the ball and not only about that but there's a second man lurking somewhere at a shootable range on my net do i challenge this guy right away and some of you may say yes just go but the second half of you are like no you gotta block off the pass too and that's why this situation is so hard on the last defender because there's two options to play let's say the ball 50s and it just leaks out this way i am then in the bad position because i chewed it up so much but it's still like i can still get there right i'm not completely beat and yeah it's all about positioning if you go back in your own replays and do exactly what I just did and like break down, pl not play by play because that might be too much, but like let's say you look at a goal like, oh, why did this go in? Well, we know why that went in. He didn't get a strong touch on the ball and it just went right to me. So you can skip past that play. Oh, why did this goal happen? And you could go for, if since I'm on the blue team and I look at a orange goal, why did this goal go in? Okay, well, we've we've been over that one. And we've been over that one. And... Okay, we didn't go over this one that much. So, let's say... When, when does it start to come to our side of the field, my side of the field? Well, it's, this starts when Bob gets demoed, my teammate gets... Whoa, that actually looks sick. <laughs> that actually looks really cool. Bob gets demoed, and now it's a 2v1, and I'm the one. All right, so you got to look at the position you're in. My teammate's demoed. What is what is your goal when your teammate's demoed? Well, first off, I got to stall, or I either got to challenge. That's two things. I can't challenge because I can't see, because the smoke is right here from the boom. So the ball goes up. I'm caught off guard because the smoke just dissipates, where I can now see the ball going up. So I'm, I'm, I'm caught off guard, so I'm going to be a little bit slower to recognizing the play. So now, now my teammate's back. If you can count to three in your head, you can understand when your teammate is back. So I challenge the ball immediately. Because I know that even if this ball goes mid, there's a high likelihood that my teammate will be there. And that is my goal to, you know, follow up the play. Unfortunately, the ball gets a little too far away from me. And yet again, the smart thing is, look at this space. He's so much closer to the ball than I am. I don't need to risk it here by flipping up or going up the wall. I just need to go up to my back wall. Because yet again, my teammate's dead. Well, I, I gotta see how he got demoed here. So he comes back. So, <laughs> I'm kidding. Okay, this is kind of funny. But then I get beat the ball. Cloudy has more boost than me. I'm caught off guard and the ball's in my net. So if we're then looking at how many goals got scored and why they got scored, a lot of them were because I was left in 2v1s. Now, if I was a teammate, I'd be saying, ooh, my apologies for leaving you in a 2v1. Because look at their success rate on 2v1s. A goal. This was... This was a 2v1, a goal. What was this? This was technically a 2v1, ended up in a goal. It, it was only a 2v1 because of positioning. How did we get scored on here? 
Let's see. An overcommit from my teammate, and me in a bad spot, and another 2v1. And I'm not there to make the save, because I was still slow to the recovery, which you could blame me for. Slow to recovery, so I had to take it much longer. And if we look at this again... You don't need... Why are we jumping for this? <laughs> to put it bluntly, why are we jumping for this? There's no benefit to it. The only reason it's good for us is if the ball goes up and stays in this corner and allows me time to get back. But if we are looking at this from a smarter point of view, let's get back to Bob here. Let's look at it from his position. He slowed down, so we hit his L2, LT, whatever you use. Uh, your S key even. So his momentum is killed. And they asked a fast aerial to be able to 50 this. And if you look at Cloudy, like, he's just in such a better spot. Right? He takes the ball away from me. Even if he panics and he touches the ball, it's still going to be over my teammate. And that's a powerful enough shot to get past me, right? 2v1 and I'm not back. So... If you look at it that way, and that's kind of how I do my uh, my replay reviews, I just look at each individual goal against me and figure out what went wrong in that play, and do it to a degree of, you know, focus and like, if this happened, then what should have happened instead, or since this happened, maybe if I added this to it, this could have been more beneficial. Like, uh, I don't know. Like, let's kick off here, grabbing this pad. Maybe instead of grabbing this pad, I cheat up with my teammate and be there just in case of 50. Or instead of, like, turning wide, because I think my teammate's going to one-tap, one-time the ball, and it's going to go to the right side, I should then, instead of going here, I should just, you know, play back and not go up back wall. But, you know, someone's got to play the high, someone's got to play the low. And luckily, my teammate played the low instead of playing the high with me. So, yeah. If you took anything away from this game, whether replay, whether it's I'm um, a bad player, or if it's you need you found something that you need to work on from my replay, uh, that's awesome. <laughs> but, uh, yeah. I hope you guys did enjoy. I hope you guys did learn something. And I'll see you in the next one. Peace.